30. Mrs. Malone by Eleanor Plagion. Mrs. Malone lived hard by a wood, all on her lonesome, as nobody should. With her crust on a plate and her pot on the coal, and none but herself to converse with, poor soul. In a shawl and a hood she got sticks out of door. On a bit of old sacking she slept on the floor. And nobody, nobody asked how she fared or knew how she managed, for nobody cared. Why make a pother about an old crone? What for should they bother with Mrs Malone? One Monday in winter with snow on the ground, so thick that a footstep fell without sound. She heard a faint frostbitten peck on the pane and went to the window to listen again. There sat a cock sparrow, bedraggled and weak, with half-open eyelid and ice on his beak. She threw up the sash and she took the bird in and mumbled and fumbled it under her chin. You're all of a smother, you're fair overblown. I've room for another, said Mrs Malone. Come Tuesday while eating her dry morning slice. With the sparrow a-picking, ain't company nice. She heard on her doorstep a curious scratch, and there was a cat with its claw on the latch. It was hungry and thirsty and thin as a lath. It mewed and it mowed on the slithery path. She threw the dark door open and warmed up some pap, and huddled and cuddled it in her own lap. There, there, little brother, your poor skin and bone. There's room for another, said Mrs Malone. Come Wednesday, while all of them crouched on the mat, with a crumb for the sparrow and a sip for the cat. There was a wailing and a whining outside in the wood, and there sat a vixen with six of her brood. She was haggard and ragged and worn to a shred, and her half-dozen babies were only half-fed. But Mrs Malone, crying, My ain't they sweet, happed them and lapped them and gave them to eat. You warm yourself, mother, you're cold as a stone. There's room for another, said Mrs Malone. Come Thursday, a donkey stepped in off the road, with sores on his withers from bearing a load. Come Friday, when icicles pierced the white air, down from the mountainside lumbered a bear. For each she had something, if little, to give. Lord knows the poor critters must all of them live. She gave them her sacking, her hood and her shawl, her loaf and her teapot she gave them her all. What with one thing and to other, my family's grown. And there's room for another, said Mrs Malone. Come Saturday evening when time was to sup, Mrs Malone had forgot to sit up. The cat said meow and the sparrow said peep. The vixen she's sleeping, the beat the bear let her sleep. On the back of the donkey they bore her away through trees and up mountains beyond night and day. Till come Sunday morning they brought her in state through the last cloud bank as far as the gate. Who is it? asked Peter. You have with you there and donkey and sparrow, cat, vixen and bear exclaimed do you tell us up here she's unknown 
It's our mother, God bless us, it's Mrs Malone, whose havings were few and whose holding was small, and whose heart was so big it had room for us all. Then Mrs Malone of a sudden awoke, she rubbed the two eyeballs and anxiously spoke. Where am I to goodness and what do I see? My dear, let's turn back, this ain't no place for me. But Peter said, Mother, go into the throne. There's room for another one, Mrs Malone. 